Hello guys, I'm Marek from The Tail and today I will talk a bit about rapiers. One of my favorite weapons, actually probably my favorite. As you see, I'm in some remote location. It's freaking cold. I've got the frog to tell me how cold it is. It's 8 degrees. Which is not that cold when you think about it, but it's raining and wet. I've got this temporary solution to keep my tea warm. And I can tell you, it just doesn't work at all. Well, it's not cold, but it's not warm either. Now, I've just prepared some things to record and this place will slowly evolve to great, great outdoor studio. Coming back to rapiers. <coughs> First of all, this is rapier. I'm using regularly during, uh, during competitions uh, in MCF, Modern Classical Fencing. Uh, those rapiers are the type all of us are obligated to use, and I love it. Uh, they come together with daggers. This is beautiful dagger. Uh, and you use them both hands, both handed. <laughs> Rapier you keep in your leading, leading hand, the dagger in the second. Well, I usually use rapier with my right hand, but it doesn't actually matter. Usually I use both hands. Uh, I'm not, I'm neither right of, or left handed. Okay, it will not keep me warm. Okay, so what is a rapier? A rapier is a weapon similar to small sword and two sword. It's something in between. Small sword mm, evolved from rapier. Uh, people sometimes say that small sword is the top point of evolution of the, the weapon, but for me rapier is also great and each of those weapons suits its, uh, its, own, its own purpose. Uh, well, how it become like this? First, we had swords. We know how swords looks. It's like it's quite simple weapon, not very fancy when it comes to technique. For some, quite boring, but I like swords too, so it's not that boring. But comparing to rapier, you know. Uh, so rapier swords getting lighter and lighter. Grip gets more guard gets more sophisticated to protect your hand, to protect your fingers against cuts and thrusts. Uh, and slowly they evolved from weapon suitable for cuts and thrusts to the very light rapiers, long right, light dual rapiers suitable for, for thrusts only. Then they're getting lighter and lighter, like this one. This one is very short, very light, very compact. The guard getting smaller again, mm, because it was easier to carry, cities get more crowded, people like something more fancy, and that's how we, how we get to the small sword. But today we will stay with rapier, a rapier and the dagger. Uh, I always consider them as a weapon, like together, like they comes only in pair. <laughs> I think the ra rapier itself it's not very convenient weapon. It's long and not very, very, very light, and you are really in a big troubles when your opponent comes into close close combat. Dagger covers it for you. It allows you to fight uh, in close distance when when you shorten it during the fight. 
there are many ideas what to use Rapier with. Some people think that it's good to use it with buckler or with a coat or even with a lantern, keep in left hand. Personally, I think that a lantern is quite okay <laughs> because imagine the situation you are just walking down the street with your drunken friends, you keep lanterns in your left hands to not step too much into some things left by horses or other other people walking <clears throat> and some thief is coming or just anyone who'd like to kill you or rob you and during this very nice evening and nice robbery you decide to put the lantern back take out your weapon and fight no it's r rather you will keep the lantern take off the take ra rapier of your sheet and and try to fight so i think it was reasonable somehow but funny whenever you've got an opportunity using the rapier with a dagger is much better idea think about buckler your opponent have rapier and a buckler and you've got a dagger when you comes into close combat well you can hurt him or put how long is it hurt 40 centimeters 30 of steel yeah you can put 30 40 centimeters of steel into his stomach and he can hit you with a buckler what would you consider as a better idea? So, rapier always with a dagger. Because of it, when you fight with a rapier and dagger, you mostly go circles. There is no need to fight in, in line. Some people s try to fight rapier with a dagger in straight lines, and it's completely and utterly ridiculous idea because you just lost all the advantage uh, which is given you by the by the by, by having the two weapons in two hands so it's rather a rather good idea to attacking to work in circles it was very very quick very short uh, short talk about rapier we will come and talk about it longer in in the details but for now I think it's it's enough and long enough if you've got any questions you'd like to ask me about anything just write in the comments mm, tell me what what's your preferable companion for a rapier maybe you prefer the cloak or a lantern uh, or you go like me with a, with a dagger if you'd like to know how to hold the rapier, how to fight with a rapier, you'd like to know the technique of the fight, I uh, really recommend you Miss Fencing channel. The link, uh, the link somewhere down 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 here. Uh, she's making the tutorials about how to how to use this weapon. Okay, so see you in the next episode. Subscribe, uh, hit the bell with a dagger and see you soon.